Hello YouTube and Raj Source. This is my Asus EPC900A. I bought it off uh, sellout.woot.com. It was refurbished and only set me back 160 bucks. Um, <clears throat> came with Linux distribution Xandros pre-installed with a 4 gigabyte SSD and 1 gigabyte of RAM. It also totes the uh, 1.6 gigahertz Intel Atom processor. pretty quick. I like that. Go to my favorite website, Mirage Source. Um, I'm making this video to demonstrate just how powerful these netbooks can be. The factory SSD uh, solid state drive isn't so great. It had a very slow write speed and a fairly slow read speed, which caused uh, occasional lag even when pouring uh, performing simple tasks like uh, browsing the web. Um, I upgraded the solid state drive to a 32 gigabyte card with a 90 megabyte per second read and 50 megabyte per second write speed. Uh, the performance was pretty noticeable. It only took about 10 minutes to do a full installation of Windows XP. It was the quickest I've ever installed Windows. Um, the 32 gigabyte SSD set me back another 80 bucks. I also upgraded the RAM to uh, two gigabytes. I figured I might as well max it out the RAM. Uh, it was very cheap, only 25. And uh, I purchased a touchscreen kit just for the novelty. Got it from Hong Kong off eBay. Uh, it sat me back another 100 bucks. All in all, I've probably spent $400 on this machine. And I'm going to do a quick demonstration. Play some Halo. pretty quick. I do have most of the uh, settings on low for the gameplay. I haven't played Halo in about three years, probably. Heads up! I got a coveted dropship heading in! Over here! Don't worry, Sergeant. We'll stay here until evac arrives. I'm a cowardly fool! I have no idea when the bad guys are coming either. Oh, I think I found him. It does lag a little bit when you get around uh, a ton of enemies. I didn't really purchase this to play video games though. Just kind of demonstrating its uh, ability to run a game, if you so desire. I don't know how to melee. Enough of Halo. This uh, USB mouse I have is extremely sensitive. Give a small demonstration of the killing floor. Um, it's more of an online game, I guess. But the EPC will run it. I'm not sure how well it does online. I have not tried. And will not try. The only thing that's sort of difficult about uh, running games on it is uh, sometimes the resolution doesn't come up right the first time. It's usually not too hard to fix it as uh, it does have a nice scroll feature, feature. It'll scroll across the screen when you put your mouse to the edge. Uh, 
I was very surprised that this computer could run this game. Time to go shopping. Actually, no, it's not. It's time to uh, demonstrate the touch screen. Very cool stuff. I love it. Um, I've been playing this small game called uh, Plants vs. Zombies. And uh, the touch screen actually makes it pretty easy. If you haven't played this game before, you use plants to fend off zombies. It's kind of like a uh, protect your base type game. I downloaded it yesterday, and it's pretty addictive. I have uh, had a hard time putting it down since then. You have to uh, collect sunlight to get new plants. Plants have special abilities that fend off the zombies. I've never played this level with the water before. I have no idea what the lily pads do. And I also uh, didn't select any plants that can actually hurt the zombies. Except for the cherry bomb. Poorly placed uh, cherry bomb on my head. Give a little demonstration of crayon physics. Also a pretty fun game. Pretty simple game. You draw lines and make the red ball touch the yellow star. Fail. <laughs> I'll get it, don't worry. Very fun stuff. I've 
also got a uh, age of mythology and uh, the expansion some uh, pro bass fishing game which I haven't played yet I love the touch screen just got it today it took uh, four hours to install it much too long and I'm way over my time here. 